Drought and uncertainty make the lives of nomadic herders a constant struggle. Scientists can now use 21st century tools to help indigenous herders manage their livestock from Kenya to Mongolia and now to Afghanistan. We don't see it as our role at all to try to change their lifestyles. It's to go in and just to try to give them information uh, to really try to apply some of this what seems to be and, and is fairly high-tech science and uh, apply it down into what we generally think of as the poorest of the poor. Herders have faced the same dilemma for thousands of years. Where and when to move animals for the best grazing area? By analyzing local plant and soil samples and combining that with weather data, researchers can advise where the richest vegetation will be. Jay Angerer worked in Mongolia. And then this is the mountain steppe areas. It's going to have a little bit more rainfall than the rest. And then as it continues to green up in the growing season, by giving that information, you can provide uh, the herder the information to know whether they need to sell animals, buy uh, supplements, or to uh, uh, make a decision as to I'm going to try to cope with this drought by hanging on just a little bit longer. What they don't learn from what goes in the animals, they can determine from, well, what comes out. We're using a very convenient product, manure, to determine what the animals were consuming, what their diet was, um, which tells us what they're going to do. Are they healthy? Or are they going to gain weight? Are they going to meet their reproductive demands? Now portable instruments in the field can help herders decide whether to move, sell, or stay put. If we can go out in the pasture in real time, be able to, to take a scan, uh, NIR scan of that sample, and then be able to, to give an answer right then. Well, we've cut five days off of that decision-making process. Animal nutritionist Robert Catho helped get information to many in East Africa. There are no vehicles to use, and our communication is uh, more or less backward. So these are some of the inventments, but with the latest technology that we are using in this system, we are able to break the barriers and deliver the information to those who need most. Information like current market prices for livestock, delivered within seconds with a text message to a cell phone. Herders, and yes, some do have a cell phone, can decide when to sell without a middleman taking their profits. Success of the Texas A&M and University of California Davis program depends on the trust of local scientists and herders themselves. We not only have to understand the biology and ecology, but you also have to understand the political and social context. Our folks on the ground have uh, uh, learned to become part of the local landscape. A landscape that science and technology have made a little easier to deal with. Daniel Seberg, CNN, Atlanta.